Hello everybody, my name is Zerduku, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This is Silent Hill for the PlayStation 1. Unfortunately, there guys, um, we're going to have to hold off Resident Evil 2 because of, well, Burn challenged me to play this game as a Let's Play on my channel because he really wanted me to play it. Um, that's fair. I mean, me and him are friends, and stuff, but I really felt like playing Resident Evil and this game at the same time would be a little wonky for me, and I uh, remember this cutscene, but it's a little weird. Bro, you just woke up from a bad dream, bro. It's a bad dream. I'm guessing all these cutscenes are from the video game. That lady looks creepy. Who the hell are you? Why'd you disappear like a ghost? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, the... I mean... Oh, there's, uh, Sybil Bennett, I believe her name is. I only... Okay, this is... It's technically a blind let's play. But I only played, like... Uh, I don't know. I got as far as the school. Uh... One... For... Uh, you see, I did, uh, Burn Raccoon City did a recording, however, he never released it. And the reason why is because he lost the recording for one, and for two, he's dealing with some serious problems. Um, he, you know, there was, I was gonna do a video talking about what his problems are, because he says he was gonna do a Patreon. But I'm not sure if he's really going to do that or not. Um, but Burn Raccoon City, if you're watching this video, please leave down in the comments if I should do a video about talking about you to help you out with your Patreon or whatever. Uh, but whatever. Hmm. I'm guessing Civil Bennett crashed. There's that creepy lady again. That's kind of a cool house, actually. It's out in the middle of the What? That whole cutscene was... Well, mo some parts of it was really weird, but... Why was that person out in the middle of nowhere? Alright, so we're going to start a new game. We're going to play on normal. Now, I've been having some memory card trouble tonight, so hopefully I'm not going to have any trouble saving the game. Okay, so I crashed my car because some stupid girl uh, was walking out in the street, and now my daughter's gone missing. And you know, I don't know what my first reaction with all this fog, but sooner or later you're gonna see right, see something even more weirder. Uh, I'll show you in a sec. With all this stuff falling from the sky, what looks to be snow, it, it's actually, I think it's ash. And at that point, I'll be wondering, okay, where the fuck am I? It's clearly nowhere that's normal. <laughs> Alright, so I gotta relearn the controls here, which is something I really don't like doing, is relearning something. Oh wait, that's the... Oh. Aha! Gotcha. So hold square. And, and run. So that's how you run. Using the D-pad is really wonky. I really wish I could use the joystick. But you, but according to Burn, he says uh, you, you could use the joystick. But if you can fit it into your game, it's just Cheryl? not gonna work Is out very Cheryl? well. And there's, um, where are you going? I believe that I believe the character that we're playing has his Harry Mason. Hey, Mason. wait! Stop. Uh, but that's his little girl, and we gotta go follow her. My sister played this for Scare Sister Night, and she got spooked out by the music. 
And now that I'm listening to it, it's not all that spooky. It actually kind of gives off a very classic video game feel. You know, it kind of makes, for some reason, it makes me think of Legend of Zelda, but the game, but, but the visual of the game makes me think of Resident Evil. The controls, too. <laughs> because the controls are like what Angry, uh, Angry Video Game Nerd calls the tank controls. Um, which, they're more or less like tank controls. Okay. So I have to press the X button to open doors and shit. So that's what my sister was freaking out over. Alright, these, these camera angles are a little... weird. I just hope people don't get Gnosis feeling from all this. Because it's going all over the place. You know, with the camera angle combination of the camera angles and the environment, it does give you like a Twilight Zone kind of feel, which is interesting. Now, if I remember the movie, and god damn it, I haven't watched the movie in, like, forever. Um... At the end of the movie, you found out that they were actually in purgatory. You know, I wonder if that's the story here, but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't beaten the game. And from what I heard from Silent Hill fans, and the director of the film, it, the film of Silent Hill wasn't really faithful to the source material that much because I guess they thought they really couldn't take the video game concept into a movie or something like that. I don't know. I haven't, Like I said, I haven't watched a movie in a while and it's been a while since I did anything to do with Silent Hill. Well, that's weird. Why is this here? Out in the middle of street. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if that's the same thing it, that that we're in purgatory. You know, actually that, you know, if you ever watch movies lately, a lot of the people uh, seem, a lot of uh, writers seem to think purgatory is like a like woods or whatever. So this is a different concept of the idea of purgatory where it's a town. The whole idea that Purgatory is actually a town where everybody's stuck in, and there are all these monsters coming after them, which this? can be perceived as demons What's trying to here? take your soul, more or less. All right. Ah, that was that was dumb of me. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sucking. Yeah, I'm trying to practice with the whole. Uh, dodging thing, even though I'm supposed to die here. But the problem is that the controls are a little bit wonky, so yeah. So I'm probably going to get hit a lot because I cannot master the whole running thing. I was doing pretty good when uh, Raccoon City was recording me. I was really good with the whole running thing. But now it seems that I'm doing terrible, which is not good. <laughs> oh, there's Silver Bennett. Silver Bennett has got to be... So far, my favorite character. Was I dreaming? Even though I haven't played this very, I didn't How play this feel? very much. But I am gonna beat oh, this game. I think I've been run over by a truck, but I'm all right, I guess. You know what? I have to say, Glad to hear it. the acting in this is you on par res with Resident Evil. Ooh, you excuse me. What happened? Wait a second. I'm just a tourist. You're not a tourist. Your car here. crashed, and you're looking for your daughter. You got lost. I don't know. So you're happened. not a tourist. You're just lost. I'd like to find out myself. Uh huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month. Short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The yeah, the only acting is I've seen terrible. This town is you. But that doesn't it really demean the game very much. 
When it comes to cutscenes, I really don't judge video games on cutscenes. I judge it on its gameplay. From what I can tell, so don't worry there, Burn Raccoon City. I'm not really ripping on the game. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Yeah, I was right. But I probably didn't pronounce his Civil last Bennett. name right. I have uh, a, a kind of a, a sort of speech impediment. The next town over. Okay. The oh, by the way, we there. saw your uh, your uh, motorcycle it crashed on the side of the road, didn't didn't you? Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. You know, I don't have kids, but no I'll way. be doing the same thing he's doing, more or less. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by you herself. You know, if I was Harry, I would have asked uh, S Silver Bennett have here. Have you got a gun? To help me, because she, I would tell her, you know, um, you're a police officer. No. You should, uh, you know, your job is to protect and serve. And Take with this. a little girl out there, I you should help. <laughs> okay. So I got a master the, the wonky controls of, of combat as well. And so far, I've been doing terrible do with the controls. So. And after this, I am going to check to see how long I've been recording because I don't want to go over the 20 minute, 20 minute threshold. I think I'm going to play at least two games. Yeah, thanks. I'm not going to link the videos together because once I have like four videos, I'm going to make a playlist of Silent Hill and all the other new games I've been playing on the PlayStation 1. As you guys all know, I've been playing Frogger. Uh, Pac-Man, but I'm going to stop playing Pac-Man for a little bit. Not because I don't like it, it's... I can only play, like, three different games. I have to make choices. And I thought it was kind of weird to have, um... Uh, wait a minute. Okay, never mind. You know, my camera may be blocking out the side here, but it doesn't really matter. Um... Let's see if I can master the combat controls. I just thought it was kind of weird to start playing uh, games, you know, like a whole bunch of uh, kid games. I at least I gotta at least play at least one dark game, and I decided to choose Silent Hill. I'm gonna unequip this for now. Uh oh. Uh, the radio is broken. I'll pick that up later. I guess I can't pick it up now. Uh, that. Thank you. Would you please pick up the flashlight instead of walking into the fucking digger table? These controls are a little bit wonky, man. I had to get used to. I'm taking the map. All right, so there's that monster. All right, so we're going to... You know what? I forgot to... Yeah. Why is there multiple saves here? But I don't know. You know, maybe I'll secondary... Yeah, maybe I'll do that now. Uh, I'll secondary save just in case if one of my files get corrupted or some shit. Um, I have to, I keep forgetting what the menu button is, okay? So don't judge me! Okay. So let's fight this monster that looks like Aerodactyl from Pokemon. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Who written the script for this Dangon video game? 
whoever it is really needs to take will take some writing lessons. Oh, why'd you knock me down, bro? This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? I took some damage and I didn't mean to. Um. All right, so I'm gonna take the radio. Um. No. I'm gonna confuse the pause button with the select button like a lot in this game. So forgive me, please. I'm just gonna take the knife for now. I want to. I do want to collect some ammo. How much damage did I take? No. I'm still green, so that's good. Um. I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna check my recording. I'm gonna double save that shit. All right. <clears throat> Check my recording. I've been recording for 16 minutes. This is a good place to stop. So I am going to stop the recording here. Then I'm going to do part two. Uh, anyways, please like and subscribe. This is Zerduku signing out.